BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are running an AMD-based system, just to let you know that recently AMD has released their latest Adrenaline Edition driver, version 23.10.2. And my main reason for mentioning this uh, is because it could address some long-standing issues and some recently introduced issues um, that previous driver versions were maybe causing in Windows uh, 11 specifically. Now, first of all, as I posted at the beginning of this month, the recently rolled out Windows 11 Moment 4 update, KB5030310, and Windows Copilot, which was a feature that brings AR to the desktop in Windows 11 as part of Moment 4, um, are causing AMD driver issues. And I posted a whole video on that with the workaround, and I'll leave that down below. But the reason I'm mentioning mainly this update is because that was with the then latest AMD Adrenaline Edition driver version 23.9.3. And as you can see, we've been bumped up to 23.10.2. So this could resolve those issues. There's nothing mentioned in the release notes, but just bringing it to your attention that this new driver update is available. So if you were experiencing those issues, as mentioned in that previous video, uh, go check the driver out and maybe it will resolve those problems. Now, according to AMD with this new Adrenaline Edition driver, um, one of the key highlights is that they have received reports of some games triggering anti-cheat bans on gamers when AMD Anti-Lag Plus technology is enabled on Radeon graphics. So to address this, they say they have released this latest AMD software Adrenaline Edition driver 23.10.2 that disables anti-lag plus technology in all supported games and AMD says they recommend gamers use this new driver which we are talking about today and just on a quick side note if you don't know what AMD anti-lag plus technology is all about uh, it controls the pace of the CPU work to make sure it doesn't get too far ahead of the GPU and that reduces the amount of CPU work queued up so basically that's what um, anti-lag plus technology is. So go check that out if you were experiencing that issue. That, according to AMD, will basically um, disable anti-lag plus technology with this latest driver. Now, if we head over to the release notes for this driver, something else I want to bring your attention to is over and above the other key feature highlights, as, um, the game now supports Assassin's Creed Mirage, the Lords of the Fallen, Forza Motorsport, here are the issues that have been fixed. And here we can see that one of them is system freeze or black screen when playing video files on Radeon Oryx 6000 series graphics products. Now, these black screen issues have been plaguing AMD for a long time. And AMD releases a driver and then they say they fixed the issue, then um, they don't, there are reports and user feedback, then they release another one. So... Um, just to bring this to your attention, because this could resolve um, stuttering and black screen flickering issues on Windows if you download and install this latest driver. And um, I have also posted a whole video on how to disable MPO to fix these stuttering, black screen flickering issues on Windows. And I'll leave that down below because that's a, a bit of a registry hack and a workaround which um, there's been quite a lot of positive review on that it actually does work for a lot of users. But nonetheless, just bringing in those couple of points to your attention regarding this latest Adrenaline Edition 23.10.2 driver that over and above the anti-lag plus technology, um, which obviously now has um, been worked on with this driver, uh, the Moment 4 co-pilot issues that I've been posting on, and then obviously these long-standing um, black screen issues this driver could possibly resolve those issues and i'll leave this page down below where you can just come and click on the relevant links for windows 10 and windows 11 64 bit and you can down download the relevant driver if you would be interested but give it a go and um, see if this does work and um just wanted to let you know because i have seen in the comments that there's been a lot of feedback and comments on issues with amd drivers so i just wanted to bring this to your attention so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one